So CHX is out on test server for PC. Here's a few things you need to know and good settings that's worked for me without problems so far. This is also good for the main version. My name is Drazil and I've played Siege since year one. You can always pause the video to full copy all my settings you see. Keep in mind this is not a new game, it's just a new season. Going free to play with premium access to rank and beefy update. If you don't own the game already, then you don't have access to the test server. If you have the game on Steam, then the test server will be available in your Steam library. If you own it on Ubisoft Connect, but you don't see it in the UP Connect game library, then make sure you remember your username and password, because you're gonna have to go to the Ubisoft website to register for it. Starting off again, make sure you remember your username and password for Ubisoft Connect, because you might need it. Right click your desktop and click display settings. At the bottom, click advanced advanced display setting. In the top drop down box, select your main display. At the bottom, if it isn't in the highest refresh rate, select the highest available. Your monitor will go black now. Click keep changes. I don't know any AMD GPU settings, but I can show you my Nvidia settings. Right click your desktop again and go into Nvidia control panel. Click manage 3D settings, program settings, and find siege in the drop down list. Set preferred refresh rate to highest available. Set power management mode to prefer for maximum performance. Click apply at the bottom right and exit this window. This makes most of your games, if not all, run at the highest available FPS. And if you play Siege in Borderless, it'll run higher FPS than the 60 FPS shown. Just make sure you don't have VSync on or an FPS limit set to 60, unless you can't get very high frames. If you've already installed test server and it's been buggy, then on Steam and similar with Ubisoft Connect, begin with right clicking the game. Click properties, click installed file and choose verify integrity of game files. If you get a prompt from BattleEye, select yes. After that finishes, and this is your first time on test server, you might need to redo all your settings. You can find your mouse sensitivity config file quickly and just have it open and copy it by going to documents, my games, Rainbow Six Siege, and your most recent modified file here, which will probably be the settings you have. For me, it's this one. Click game settings, scroll down a bit, and in there you can see all your mouse settings and just set the same numbers in game one by one. Launch your game, go to settings and general tab. Here you don't have to do everything the same as me, but there is two important things. Stun VFX is on dark for me because I don't like the bright white light when I get a stun grenade in my face. Tinnitus, tinnitus, I don't know how to say it, is muted so my ears don't explode. Diffuser pick up both so you can either walk over it to pick it up or manually. And drone after prep, semi-auto, so you won't be thrown off drone when the drone phase is over. The HUD tab, I just keep on normal. Audio tab, I have dynamic range on night mode. You can see on the right what each setting does. Master and in-game SFX, I keep on max. In-game music off, menu SFX volume somewhere below the 50s. Menu music off, voiceover preset, I usually keep on gameplay focused, but I have on maximum now to hear the new dialogue between ops in game. Voice chat volume 66, but I think it's disabled in test server. Voice chat input on 84, so your own voice doesn't nuke someone's headset. Display tab. Max resolution. I play full screen, but borderless should be just fine too, if that's your cup of whatever. Max refresh rate here, but if you're on borderless, it goes great, but after the settings in Windows, it's gonna be on the max FPS your PC can do. Aspect ratio 1610, just to make the enemy's head a tiny little bit wider. I have my FPS limit on max and the most I can have is 144. Field of view, HUD and menu sliders on max. Graphics tab. Just pause the video and copy these and or change them if your PC is not as good as my mid-range-ish PC. Controls tab. For the mouse sensitivity, you can check your config file now and just set the same numbers. Important ones here are mouse scroll off so I don't accidentally switch weapons while using operator ability. Gadget deployment advanced so you can cancel putting up a gadget or do bandit tricking to deny wall breach. Drone deployment advanced so you can bait enemies to think you're droning or sacrifice the drone to for example disable an Aruni gate. Only one I have changed next is crouch but that's because I have a second keyboard on the floor so I can step on the crouch key. Customize controls. I think the important ones here is having push to talk on mouse thumb button further away from me and secondary gadget on mouse thumb button closer to me so I can hold grenades while I get into the right throwing position 
precision. But this button is also for C4, heart breach charge, wall cams, barbed wire, proximity alarm, deployable shield, and observation blocker. And finally, very important, accessibility tab. Screen shake off so that explosions don't shake your entire screen. Motion blur off, and that's it. Hope this helps. Drop a like if it did, and subscribe for more Siege videos.